okay so in the last tutorial we created a first spring mvc application using the spring dispatcher servlet.xml in this tutorial we'll be creating the same application but using the annotations approach so let's see what files we need to modify to create this application using annotation the first file which we need to modify is my model class or the controller class that is hello.java what earlier we were doing is we are extending the base controller class and then overriding its handler request method to execute the particular url pattern request now we don't need to extend this abstract controller class but for annotations what we need to do is we just need to use the annotation at the rate controller what this will do is this will mark the java class as controller and inform front controller about it second change which we need to do is we don't need to override this method that is handler request internal we just can use the annotation request mapping annotation what parameter it will take the url pattern which you want to map so now say we have a request like Here comes my application name that is Spring MVC Project One Hello dot HTML. Now what it will do is this Hello dot HTML URL pattern is being matched with the request handler method which we have written. You can call these methods at request handler method so it will match this incoming url with the request handler method wherever it matches it will call that particular method and execute the functionality written inside it so this is the purpose of request mapping annotation just to match the incoming url with the particular request handler method clear okay so now what we need to another the file which we need to modify is spring dispatcher servlet here we are defining the handler mapper bean and the class corresponding to it and then the bean name that is a url pattern matching to which class now since we have already defined this in the class only java class so we don't need it to define over here also we don't need this but when the request comes to front controller from web xml how it will get to know that it needs to go to this particular package and then in this class so for to get the particular url pattern request handler method for that we need to define one more annotation over here that is context component can base package equal to com dot tell comma what it will do is it will when the request comes to front controller front controller find this annotation and it goes to this base package com dot tell comma and it scan all the classes present inside this package and see wherever we have this annotation that is at the rate controller and load all those classes after loading these classes it will again go to the request handler methods or the request mapping annotations written inside these classes and load their corresponding request handler methods also this all work is done by spring mvc internally also in spring mvc will match the incoming url to the request handler method of that particular controller class which it has loaded and then execute the method so this is the only file which we need to modify the controller class and spring dispatcher servlet.xml now say it's clear now we can have 
मोर देन वन वी कैन गेट अ मल्टी एक्शन कंट्रोलर क्लास ऑल्सो मीन्स वी कैन हैव मोर देन वन रिक्वेस्ट हैंडलर मैथड इन साइड द सेम कंट्रोलर क्लास सो आई जस्ट डिफाइन दिस रिक्वेस्ट हैंडलर सेकेंड सो दिस इज माई सेकेंड रिक्वेस्ट हैंडलर मैथड बट वट द पैटर्न विल बी यू आर एल से वेलकम डॉट एच टी एम एल सो नाउ इट विल गो टू इफ द हेलो डॉट एच टी एम एल इट विल एग्जीक्यूट दिस इफ इट इज वेलकम डॉट एच टी एम एल इट विल गो टू दिस पर्टिकुलर रिक्वेस्ट हैंडलर मैथड एंड देन यू कैन चेंज द व्यू नेम ऑल्सो एंड द डाटा ऑल्सो एंड देन कॉल दैट पर्टिकुलर मेथड नाउ इट्स क्लियर we can have this is called multi action controller class okay now we are left with the one more thing about request mapping annotations till now we have used this request mapping annotation at method level we can use the same annotation at class level also what does it mean mean by that say we are having one more class i have hello second just finish to save time i'll just copy this request handler methods over here now now we know that we have this now whenever the request goes to spring dispatcher servlet it scan this package com dot tel comma it find the two classes which are marked with at the rate controller annotation and they have two request handler methods now it will load both the classes and their corresponding request handler methods now the request handler method in both the classes are exactly same hello dot html and welcome dot html so if we'll try to map the incoming url which is say this only with this then how will it get to know that which particular class request handler method it need to invoke because we are having the same in both the classes it will show an exception to us so to resolve this complexity what we can do is we can use this request mapping annotation at the class level means what we can do is we'll define request mapping annotation over here and just simply write you can write the class name or anything you want Yeah, I define hello, and for hello second, hello second. Now what we'll do? Now this, if we enter this URL pattern, it will not map. to anything because it's not matching what it wants it wants to go through this request mapping to this request handler so we can if we we'll enter hello and then welcome.html then it will go to this particular request handler because it's matching with this request mapping hello and the welcome.html and execute this code and if we write hello second welcome dot html now it will go to this particular controller class because it's matching this hello second and this welcome dot html so with this we can have the same request handler method in more than one controller class and this request mapping annotation class level will help us to resolve this issue so in the next tutorial we'll be just running this application and see the output of it.